Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through collapsing rule for find. So this is an interesting problem guys, which we will be resolving, which we have discussed in the previous lecture. Okay. So basically for finding an element, we will be finding the root of the whole tree or the subset, right? Okay. So if J is a node on the path from I to its root, set parent of j to root of j then start collapsing so basically the the question the solution that we will be applying is so assume that you are having a path in this way and you are asked to find this what is this element okay so instead of using this whole path you will be constructing a path in this way by terminating all these paths so all these elements you will be removing or you will be terminating and you will be connecting only one path directly. So initially you will be moving from here to here to here. So this is nothing but called a traversing or moving or to its root. And then you will be start collapsing the unwanted things. So once you are going through the algorithm and an example, you will be having a clear idea guys. Don't worry. Okay. So collapse. So algorithm collapse. So here you will be initializing the I value. So what value you are you have come to search? So that value you will be substituting in R and you will be finding the root using a while loop. P of R is greater than 0 until you find it. So and you will be find, storing the root parent, the root value in the R. Okay. So after that you will be moving from I. I is nothing but your searching element to R until it is not equal. Until it is equal you will be continuing this process. So if both are equal, in between all elements have been collapsed. So that is the logic. Okay. Okay. So basically, okay, I think I just forgot to say that all these are connected guys. I forgot to say that. Okay. All these are connected. So basically you will be doing in this way. So let me draw it again. Okay. So initially you will be finding a path to the parent. So once you find a parent, you will be collapsing this and you will be connecting them. You will be collapsing this and connecting them. So you will be making them as individual. So that whenever you come for searching for that particular node again, you will be getting it in the first or the second step. So that is the main idea or goal of this algorithm. Okay, so collapsing. Instead of searching it, traversing till the parent, we will be doing this trick. Okay, so this is the logic for collapsing. So initially you will be having I value. Okay, I will be just ex explaining with the example guys. So that will be clear for you. Okay, so assume that this is the graph given. Okay, so I'll be just taking a rough paper so that we can analyze it clearly. Okay. So assume this is the graph given. 5, 7 and 8. Here it is given 3, 4. Here it is given 2 and all are directed towards up as usual. Okay. Okay. So assume that the given question is a find of 8. Okay. So given is a find 8. So initially in R you will be substituting this 8. So let me just draw a small. Okay. In R you will be storing initially 8. And in I also you will be having 8. What is the another variable S. Okay. Okay. So you will be having in this way. So after that you will be doing a while operation. P of R is greater than 0. P of R, R is nothing but 8. So parent of R is nothing but 7. So initially, so basically you will be having an array with the values, right? So in that, I will be just filling these values, okay? 1 will be minus 1. For 5, it will be 1. For 7, it will be 5. For 8, it will be 7. So this table will help you find the parents of that particular node, guys. Okay? So if you want, I think I have just drawn it. Okay, I didn't draw it. I just drawn it for once and I have just updated it. Okay. So do you want me to fill the full table? Okay. Let me fill the table also. That will be clear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So one parent there is nothing. 1, 1, 3. For 5 it is a 1. Okay, we are not having 6. For 7 it is a 5. For 8 it is 7. Okay, so this is the parent table. Okay. Okay, so I'll be just uh, identifying the parent also from the directly from the graph only. It, it will be really easy in that way. Okay, 
so initially this while loop will be continuing until you find the parent guys until you find the whole parent and you'll be storing it in r so till that you'll be continuing so parent of r you'll be storing in r so it is nothing but 7 so again you'll be continuing parent of 7 that is nothing but 5 then parent of 5 that is nothing but 1 and now parent of 1 is nothing but minus 1 okay so but minus 1 will not be substituted because minus 1 will make the case false so it will not be substituted and r is equals to this will not be executed so at minus 1 you will be stopping now r is equals to 1 okay so now let us continue while i is not equals to r so you will be continuing this process until i is equals to r so you need to now make these two as equal until that you will be continuing this process okay so the process is really simple s is equals to p of i so parent of i so parent of 8 is nothing but 7 so you will be storing that 7 here okay so next p of i is equals to r so r value you will be storing in r value is 1 you will be storing that in parent of i so parent of i is nothing but 8 so indirectly you have connected these both now and this is lost because only one will be connected right so you substituted one again again you will be substituting i is equal to s so now i value is a 7 okay so similarly you will be continuing again at again whether these two are equal no those both are not equal so again continue the collapsing so now initially you will be updating it again parent of i i is 7 parent is a 5 so this will become 5 and the parent of okay so the next step will be r r is nothing but 1 so this you will be connecting with this and you will be collapse collapsing this small one okay you will be collapsing this and you will be continuing again so you will be updating this to 5 and again these both are not equal now the s will be finally equal to 1 so now you will be connecting this with this again so already it is connected so that will be connected again okay okay so after that that will be connected and this will also be updated to 1 so now both are equal then hence you will be stopping and you will be returning the value of s so s is having 1 so the parent is 1 and whenever you come once again so now you are having different roots right so for 8 you can directly move to 1 there is no need to traverse among all so previously we used to have that problem right where you are having continuously below 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 one after the other so that problem is resolved here okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea now on the algorithm so now let me explain you the problem so here it is given union of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 5. So union of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So previously we discussed for these two union, you will be selecting which is having the more children or more elements. So both are having equal, so you can connect anyone. So in this both cases also these are equal, so I have just connected in this way. So now you will be connecting find of 8. So find of 8, you will be traveling till 1, then you will be creating a path removing this moving up creating a path removing this moving up creating a path removing this so that is what you will be doing so i have just written it here okay i think i didn't update the table okay so i think everyone is clear right so this is how we got the table at the end so basically in all the situations it is it moved till one in 5 1 so as these both are equal you have just proved it so now we find again whenever we find again for 5 7 8 any one we can get in a single step instead of all paths so previously in that problem we are having in this way right one after the other so if you do collapse for this all the above one will be collapsed so for all it will become one path only so in this way we will be reducing the problem from n steps to some kind of reduction right Okay, so I hope everyone got some clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be starting with introduction to trees, like we will be discussing about some basic trees so that it will be helpful in our future lectures. Thank you. Thanks for watching.